Hi friends, welcome to Adventures in Painting with Don Paul. Hi friends, <clears throat> today is a fun day. I, you know I love doing ATCs, right? Well, I recently um, sent an ATC to Rafi and Klee out of Pensacola, Florida, and um, another artist got in touch with me uh, through them, and so that's been kind of exciting. So today's um, Adventure in Art is for PJ Martin, and here's the outline of the card. Um, I'm going to send her two, but one of them is part of a series, and then this one is a separate one. And because I love gnomes and she loves gnomes, I decided to draw gnomes. So I'm going to go ahead and get painting. We are listening to Public Domain Radio Classical. And once you know it, we started right off with Mozart, the crazy man with the crazy hair. Which, you know, how appropriate because cause me, because hair. So um, there's a couple things on here. I'm going to do watercolor and ink on this. And... Um, I don't know what color to do my background, so, I mean, green seems like a good standard color. I'm going to mix up a little red right now. I have, it's kind of weird, in my watercolors, I never got a pure red, which is really weird because red is actually one of or my favorite color, but I tend to find just um, using this orangish red and mixing a little of this pink in does makes a pretty good red that I like. So I could add a little bit of blue too. You know, mixing colors is fun, right? Let's see what happens. That oh yeah, that's oh that's lovely. That's a little bit deeper. Now the only thing okay, so I'm gonna do the oh hello. <laughs> you guys watching my head? Is that fun? Let me turn the camera so you can watch me paint paint the card. So you can see I kind of. You know what, I should, it works good. You can really see it when I put it over the, maybe I should color the, paint the the paper underneath so you can always see what I'm doing. I know some artists, when they're videotaping, they do a wash on the paper so um, that you can see what they're doing. But anyway, for the red, I'm going to just do, so you see we have these um, mushrooms. So I'm just going to color in the mushroom tops. And then, um, of course, the hat. I like a red gnome hat. In my, I write, I write, or I wrote a series called The Tales of Christian Tomta, fantasy books for kids. And um, in my series, everybody has a different color hat depending on what their, what their job is in the, you know, in the gnome world. And, um, that's one of the mysteries of the books is you don't know what the main character Christian Tomta's hat is going to be, what color it is. But because I was the storyteller, I decided mine was going to be black. And that's not a gnome color. It's a, apparently just a human color. But I have made myself a sparkly, because I also crochet and knit, um, I made myself a sparkly black hat and sparkly shoes because Christian is on a mission to um, <laughs> earn his mystical shoes in conical. Conical would be the gnome hat. So, boy this paint is drying quickly as I lay it down. That's fun. I tell you, my world has sure opened up since I started sketching. I don't like when, um, I've said this in other videos, I don't like it when the graphite gets mixed in with the color and dulls the color. So I was really resistant for a long time of um, doing sketches, but it makes the painting go so much easier and so much quicker. He's just a little cute dude, isn't he? Can you see his nose peeking over the... He's peeking over the mushroom cap. And I'm hoping that you're having a 
restful, fun day. And if not, then I hope that watching this video will give you a little bit of that. Oh, it's funny my paints are separating. I gotta stir them up again. So for, so funny. I said so for, it sounds like chauffeur. That crazy kid Mozart. That was like hard rock of the 1500s or whatever. <laughs> you know what I like? I'm a Christian and I go to, well, obviously I go to church on Sundays, but I like that the music is changing and it's becoming not just hymns. It's like I go to a church that's like a rock concert in the mornings now. Pretty fun. You really can get going on your dancing. <laughs> Isn't this, this little hat's cute. It's got the little peak at the top like that. You should tell me in the comments if you're like a, if you like classical music or if you like other kinds of music. If you have a favorite. All right, so gotta let that dry for a minute. Um, he's gonna ha he has boots and pants on so I'm just gonna give him some blue pants. That's pretty simple. I don't want the red paint to run into the blue paint at all. And I don't know what color to make the mushroom bottoms. They're usually kind of a white, but I don't like to just leave white, so maybe they'll be a cream. Although I do have, I do have white for his, I mean white for his, um, not his, for the mushroom top. Um, boy, I'm splashing my water right out of, out of my jar here. White dots, that's what I was trying to say, dots on the mushroom caps. Mixing flesh tones is hard. Uh, I, I like to have a flesh tone that's kind of, could be anybody's flesh color, you know what I mean? So, this is kind of a good one, I think. We'll see what happens when I get it down on the uh, let's see, he's still, I mixed the flesh color before I was ready for it. I gotta dry. Bear with me momentarily. We just have one hand that has to be, oh, it's rather light. When I get done with this, I'm going to ink it. I like to do the outlines that way. It really shows them, you know. And this little gnome, he doesn't have a beard. He's just a little youngster. Maybe he's a gnomeling, like in my stories. Okay. All right. Uh, better. Let's see. I think I'll mix up, I think I'll put green behind him. We'll do a layer of green and then maybe I'll put some streaks of grass. So I should probably, so I mixed up a darker green, I should probably do a lighter for the background. It's kind of a grass color. I don't know if you can see I have a, Ah, his face wasn't dry. No. 
I don't want to do that. I'll have to do another layer on his face. Um, I use a glass cutting board underneath because it makes underneath my painting watercolor because it makes cleanup super slick, super quick, super easy. This fella's got a deep voice, doesn't he? Let's see, he is... Gustav Mahler. George London is the singer. Gustav Mahler must have been the composer. Ooh, I don't like it when it dries. It dried too fast. I'm gonna need to figure out what color shirt I want him to have, too. This is fun. The little... I don't know why, but classical music always seems to be just the right music for painting. It's inspirational. It's... Uh, Multi-layered, it's complex. I guess that's what multi-layered means. Um, definitely evokes emotion. All right, so there's the green background. And, oh, we gotta do this a little bit in here. Okay, and I'll fix his face now. I think the grass is dry. Isn't that cute? It's coming out, isn't it? One thing about having just a tiny little card is... Um, plenty of space on your board for tissues and paper towels and whatever else you need. Okay, so his shirt. What color do we not have? We don't. Have, we have blue, green. Yeah, he'll have a purple shirt today. I like purple. It's one of my. It's kind of one of my favorite colors on my like on my color palette. Purple, I use a lot of. Um, I really like blue, pink, red, green. I'm not one much for browns and yellows and oranges. Although, I do like the sunset palette, orange, red, and yellow, when it comes out together. So, so he's coming along nicely. I, it looks like I need to, uh, I need to mix up a color for the mushrooms. And, oh, I, maybe I'll do his boot purple too, since I already have purple paint out. I was gonna do it black. I think I will do it black. I'm gonna just gonna absorb that paint right up. It's too watery. There. Now the black is going to um, almost look like ink, I think. It almost feels like ink on the brush. I'm not good at lettering with a brush. I'm good at lettering with a flat pen. So like when I was painting, when I was watercoloring and putting, um, I did the Fruits of the Spirit series last year. I can't believe it's been a year since I like got serious about the art. It's crazy. It's gone so fast. Um, I used a flat one inch brush like this and I wrote the letters, you know, to do that. You just keep your brush at a 45 degree angle and then it creates its own thins and thicks. It looks like I'm kind of at a stopping point until this dries because I don't want to, I don't want any of the 
whatever color I mix up for the white to run into the other colors. So I will post a pic of this card when I'm uh, at the end of the video. And thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. Take a rest. Have a good day.